Well, good morning, everyone. This is Mark Raymakers, Life Marketing Director here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services in Omaha, Nebraska. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning on our Friday morning web uh, single premium life webinar. Today's is on how to sell single premium life, and this will be a recorded webinar that I can email out to you uh, once the webinar is over. So uh, feel free to ask questions at any time. You can go ahead and type those in the question box. And at the end of the webinar, uh, either myself or someone in the life marketing department will give you a call to see if you have any questions, uh, if there's any cases that you're working on, anything that we can help you out with. I will certainly address at that time. So, again, thank you for joining us. This webinar here this morning is really a good one. That uh, there's a lot of questions about single premium life, and we're seeing obviously more and more of that. Uh, it's a great way to get back in front of your clients. It's a great way to help them with assets that they certainly have no plan to draw on or live on. We see a lot of money coming from annuities and CDs, and uh, even some nice uh, inheritance things like that that are coming through. So. Hopefully this uh, little webinar this morning, it'll be short, but uh, hopefully it'll give you some good ideas as far as uh, where to go and, and how to approach it. We've got a new little tool I'm going to show off to you here this morning, something brand new that we've just completed, and it'll also be uh, focused on Monday's webinar. We'll go into greater detail with this little piece here. So, all right, so what we're going to do here real quick, I noticed that some of you on here this morning have been through our webinars before, and so we're going to go through some refreshers here. I see some new faces. I, I appreciate you joining us here for the first time. A little bit about insurance agency marketing services and how we can help you. We've been offering life and annuity products now for over 26 years. We're going on our 27th year, actually. Almost completed our 27th year. Experience and knowledgeable. So when you call in here, We've got some people that have been in this office now for uh, well in excess of 10 years. They've been marketing for quite some time. Everyone in the marketing department has been in the field one way or another. So you know that they understand some of the unique experiences and challenges that you have out there. And our, our focus, our target is to help you obviously make your job a lot easier out there. So we are going to provide you case design and illustration support. I know that that is a time consuming thing. But understanding when you call our office here that when we run you an illustration, we've been in the field. We understand what it is you're looking for. And if not, we can certainly uh, spend a few moments with you to get the case illustrated the way you want it. We do provide for the field underwriting support. So basically what that means, if you run into a case where you have a client who's not healthy, uh, we're going to find out what we need to know to get you a good quote. And the nice thing about single premium life, they're generally a table four. So they're very encompassing. We have products that go up to a table eight. That makes it a little bit uh, easier for you as well as far as getting a case approved. Once you write a case, of course, we're going to get you the forms that you need to write it. But once you write it, we're going to scrub the applications for you. If it is a single premium life product we're talking about, there is no physical exam required. So we're not ordering an exam. But if you run a case that is fully underwritten, of course, we'll get the exam taken care of for you. But the thing is, too, we provide you the weekly status updates. So every time you write a piece of business, we're going to keep you informed on a weekly basis or more, depending on the, the progress of the case. We're going to uh, stay in front of you, keep you up to date, take that off your plate as well. We truly are experts in providing independent producers the tools that you need to succeed. And, if you haven't written a piece of business with us before, we certainly hope that you give us that chance. And once you get a taste of our service, you'll continue sending business our way. I'm sure of that. Okay, we have a new producer bonus, and this is really big, especially when we're talking about single premium life, because you can earn these bonuses really fast. The first level is 100000 level. So if you write a $100,000 case, you have a choice. You can either get $750 in cash, or you can get a three-year subscription to the website and the newsletter service or you can get a free iPad. You may decide to hold off, get to the 300,000 level, get 300,000 in single premium, at which point you can claim it at, at uh, either the full social security program and the 3,000 piece mailing. And this is a big deal. If you're not hearing uh, the social security talked about in your area, now would be a good time to look into this. So 300,000 in single premium, or you could certainly buy the program from us. But there are a lot of seniors retiring, and you're probably seeing statistics all over the place about how many seniors are turning 65 and retiring. And they want to know how their Social Security works. And this is a program to where obviously you spend a little bit of time familiarizing yourself with it, becoming the expert. You're doing seminars. You're getting in front of a lot of people at one time and helping them with all of their planning to make sure all their ducks in a row, repositioning assets for safety and security. A lot of annuities are written through this. A lot of single premium life, a lot of traditional life, actually. 
So that is a very important part of the Social Security claiming, and that's the first option you get in the 300,000 new producer bonus level. You may decide that's not for you, but you'd rather have 2,000 matching marketing money to promote your business. We will do that. Or you can get a $1,500 Best Buy gift card, buy yourself a laptop, whatever it is, you buy yourself a new TV, whatever. That's up to you. <clears throat> you may decide to hold off to the last level. That's the 500,000 level. And for those of you that are just joining us, we're talking about the new producer bonus program. So let's say you write 500,000 in single premium life or a combination of that and annuities in traditional life. You can claim either the 5,000 piece mailing in seminar coaching with Matt Gill. Matt is a top producer with us, and he has really been successful. I think five years in the business, he's qualified for every trip we have, every producer trip that he has with the carriers he writes business with. Uh, he's a tremendously successful individual with a very short period of time in the business, and he'll show you his seminar approach. Dave Pimper, you may recognize his name. He uh, does coaching as well as seminars. You can get 4,000-piece mailing and seminar coaching with Dave. He does seminars with us or webinars with us every week. Or you could just redeem it, get the Ritz-Carlton and Trevor Rewards program and make your own personal getaway. So for those of you who are joining us, we're just going through who I'm is, what we can do to help you with your business. And lastly here, we've got the, the trip. This is our top producer's escape. We have this every year. The production requirement began June 1st of 2013, and it continues on for 18 months. We have not announced our location yet, as we've been in negotiations of securing that and uh, determining where we want to go. But I can tell you it'll be a nice place where it's warm and sandy. And this is for producer and guest. And in addition to this, we have our Golf and Gamble Scramble. It's a million dollars of annuity premium with Athene and Aviva annuity. So you, once you write that, that's a four-day event. That is for producer only. Would certainly not want to see you miss that opportunity. So, And by the way, you get credit for both trips on that million dollars of annuity premium. So if you have any questions on that, be sure to ask for annuity marketing. They'll give you all the details on the Golf and Gamble Scramble. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's jump into uh, the uh, why is single premium life so popular? Well, it's been said, and you've probably seen these numbers, you've probably heard some variations, but the one thing that I think that's important it, to note is that there's $1.4 trillion in assets to be passed to the next generation. I think I heard uh, there's like $8 trillion that's sitting in banks, in CDs, places like that. They're just lazy dollars. And the problem is that those assets, as you very well know, are not keeping up with inflation. They're getting less than 1% generally what they're earning, and then they're paying taxes on it. So there's a lot of lazy assets that are sitting out there. Now, this $1.4 trillion doesn't necessarily take into consideration what's sitting in the bank. That could just be annuities alone. There's a lot of money sitting out there that's going to be transferred to the next generation. And fortunately, so many of our senior clients have done a pretty good job of planning. With your help, they've established enough assets with their Social Security, uh, maybe their pension, whatever it is that they've got, they're coming to find out they got a lot of assets out there that they really don't plan to live on. So uh, there's a lot of income tax-free wealth to be transferred. And so what we want to do is we want to look at using a product that's going to help them reposition those assets to help them transfer that, that, that wealth income tax-free. And we're going to go through what those are. Uh, there's the high cost of long-term care. That's the other thing why it's so popular. Because right now, if you look at the cost of long-term care, it's pretty high. In fact, a lot of seniors are not purchasing it because of the fact it is so expensive. They are getting set to live on a fixed income now. They're going to be retiring. And to throw a large expense at them to cover long-term care is just not very feasible. And there's also the thought that, hey, you know what, if I buy this long-term care plan and I don't use it, I lose all the money I put into it. So uh, that there in itself is another very popular reason. And why do I say it's because the single premium plans have long-term care. They have home health care benefits. It's part of the product. It's not an additional benefit that's added on. It's hassle-free. There's no compliance. Now, depending on what product you're selling, I, I'm going to use that term a little loosely as far as no compliance. We do have some products that are SPIA Life Combo products, and many of them do require that there is uh, a very simple, maybe a 35-minute uh, testing that you need to complete. There is no exam required. So your clients do not have to worry about completing a physical exam. They don't have to worry about seeing a doctor. No one's going to come into their home and poke and prod, draw blood, all that unpleasantries that would come with traditional life insurance. The single premium whole life does not require exams. In fact, we have products where when you're in front of your client, 
you do a paper application, you make a phone call, they're approved right on the spot. So very quick, very simple. Faster than annuity turnaround time. That's the next point I'm transitioning into. We are finding that these cases, these products are getting approved, like I said, on the spot. We are getting a, uh, a live contract sent back to, the client, uh, to you to deliver to the client and a commission check faster than what you're going to see with annuities. The commissions are amazing. You can get up to 15% on these particular products. And so it's a lot more than what you're going to see in an annuity. There's guaranteed interest rates that you're not going to see in a CD. What do I mean by that? Well, we have products that are going to guarantee up to 3% on the money. So that in itself is pretty appealing to a client who's got money sitting in a CD. A lot of times that's rainy day money, and we're going to talk about the different markets here in just a minute to familiarize yourself with where to go to get these dollars. And not to mention just the guaranteed interest rates, but the tax deferral. A lot of these accounts that they have sitting out there now, they are going to pay taxes on it. And, you know, obviously when you're not getting much interest and you're paying taxes on the little bit that you're getting, it's, it's, it's not necessarily a great choice to leave it where it's at today. So we've got tax deferral in these single premium plans. Okay, so let's talk about the market. I think it's important that we all understand, and you, maybe common sense is going to jump out at you here and tell you that a lot of these things are just simple, that you know where to go. But let's break it down by market. Who is a prospect? If you're sitting there in your office right now, and maybe things are a little bit slow, and we all hit those down times. I know. I've been in the field. You, hit, you get your, your, your peaks and your valleys. You might be sitting in a valley right now, and you're wondering, what can I do to generate some new business? Uh, how can I help my clients? And a lot of this is going back to your existing clients. It's moving forward as you're meeting new prospects. And, and, you know, I guess one thing I learned years ago is that don't leave a house without an application. Find a way to help those clients, those prospects that you're seeing today. So let's look at this. Clients with funds they do not need for daily expenses. Let's take a look at annuities, for example. We write millions of annuities every month. And we know that there's a lot of clients out there with annuities that they're not going to live on. And so one of the things we want to do is we want to look at our clients, the ones that we've written in the past, or prospects that we meet. Um, what are they going to do with these annuities? We know that distributions are taxed as ordinary income on those annuities, especially if we look at the qualified accounts. And we do have products that will take a qualified account. In fact, I'm going to show you a little tool here closer to the end of the webinar here this morning on a tool that we have that's going to compare a qualified annuity versus putting it into a single premium life product and why your client would want to look at doing such a thing. Um, obviously, we look at an increase in face amount by taking that annuity dollars and rolling it into something. It provides living benefits. And we do have products that have bonuses that will offset surrender charges. So now let's, we stop and we think about the different annuities that we've written in the past. And I can tell you that when I look at suitability forms, because the annuities come in with suitability forms today, have a question about what do they plan on doing with that asset. And so many times I see it marked off that it says to pass the asset to beneficiaries. We all know that the most efficient way to pass an asset to the next generation is through life insurance. And so instead of putting it into an annuity and getting maybe 6 or 7% commission, you can put it into a single premium life plan, get up to 15%, get a bump in value, tax-free transfer at death with living benefits. Okay, so savings and checking accounts and CDs. Clients with excess funds and savings or checking accounts are excellent prospects for this. Obviously, if they're sitting in those accounts, they're underperforming. They're lazy dollars. They're not even keeping up with inflation. You're getting minimal interest, they're getting taxable growth, and keep in mind a lot of that money is rainy day money. I know from experience that I had clients that had a million dollars sitting in their savings account or checking accounts or CDs. A real quick story, I talked with a guy who went out to see a widow. He was a friend of his, never did business with him, but when he finally he found out about the death of this friend of his and why he didn't write business on them, I don't know. But he found out by going and seeing the widow that she had $3 million in CDs that she didn't know about. That's where her husband kept the funds. So if we're not asking about those checkings, those savings, and those CDs, obviously we could be leaving some money on the table. Again, think of what we can do. And I always say don't be a pig. Don't take it all if you don't have to or you don't need to or the client doesn't necessarily want to. Take part of it. Move some of it into a single premium life. Medicare supplements. This is another great place. There's clients that are paying premiums on old policies. The, 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 the thought of consolidating those expenses, consolidating those life insurance policies, maybe freeing up some premiums is a great thing. And I know obviously when those clients are retiring or those prospects are retiring and they're looking at those Medicare supplement plans and maybe they're going to buy a plan F, um, 
they're going to be on that fixed income. They may want to look at um, freeing up some of those expenses and putting it into a single policy. In fact, I talked with a guy yesterday, and if there's anybody on here this morning who's selling the supplements, the concern is that maybe in the next two or three years, there's going to be a real spike in the cost of a Plan F. So with that said, you might want to look at freeing up some of those premiums on those old policies. Speaking again from experience, and we go into life insurance clients, uh, this kind of ties it all together. And I'm going to jump ahead here for a second, but there's that desire again of consolidation and premium discontinuation. I know there's a lot of senior clients out there that may have bought a whole life policy 30 or 40 years ago when they first got married. And yeah, they're great contracts. I'm not in the, in the business to replace business, but if you look at the net amount of risk on those old whole life insurance policies, the risk is really on the client now because they've had them so long, they've got a good cash accumulation, the dividends have, have um, accumulated in there, and now the net amount of risk, uh, at risk is very small. So we look at 1035-ing those into a legacy contract that will actually give them a higher death benefit, frees up that little minimal premium they're paying each month, but now gives them long-term care and home health care benefits. Okay, so let's jump up here a little bit to the imploding universal life policies. Falling interest rates have resulted in premium shortfalls, and so because of the fact that we sold those UL policies, and I'm guilty of it myself, I, when I got started in the business, they're paying over 9% on the UL policies. So what's happened? Interest rates have come down, and if the original writing agent has not come out to tell that client that they're getting half the interest rate today that they were 20 years ago, those policies are in trouble. And so what we've been doing is we've been rescuing those old UL policies by rolling them into a single premium life plan. The other thing is there's no guaranteed death benefit on those contracts. Uh, there was a guaranteed interest rate, but not a guaranteed death benefit like we have today. A single premium life will guarantee them a death benefit, never to require another premium again. Okay, so, so for those of you who are out there that are selling long-term care, or maybe clients that have a long-term care policy, maybe they're a little bit concerned now, they're retiring and they're thinking, you know, this $500 a month policy, this is really a concern for us. If they've got a lump sum somewhere, that'll work as well. That'll work as, uh, you know, whether it's in a checking savings annuity, all the things we talked about, that'll also provide them some supplemental long-term care benefits. Here's another thing to think about. If you're writing long-term care, and you have clients that have been declined for long-term care, we have plans that only underwrite for the mortality. So all they have to do is qualify for life insurance to actually get one of these plans. We also have contracts, and we probably all know who they are, but those single premium plans out there, uh, there are some that underwrite the mortality and the morbidity. We have seen clients that actually get declined for, uh, I'm going to use MoneyGuard for example, because they underwrite the mortality and the morbidity separately. They've been declined for long-term care, so thus they're declined altogether. And what I've seen a lot of times is the agent then puts the money into an annuity. I'm going to ask you to reconsider that if that happens again, or maybe go back to that client that was declined for the MoneyGuard, or maybe the, the GenWorth's contract, because we do have plans that'll actually pick that up. I've seen that where we've had a money guard declined, and then we'll go with another carrier and get approved. So keep that in mind. If you can think of anyone that's been declined, give us a call. Again, that use it or lose it policy, that doesn't happen with these single premium plans. If they don't use the long-term care benefit, then they have the tax rate benefit that can be passed on to the next generation. And a lot of times, again, we get that can't afford the policy, so they do nothing at all, but yet maybe they've got $25,000 sitting in a CD that they would use for long-term care. Let's really get some bang for the buck. Okay, let's look at penalties and taxation because these are some important things to note. You know, of course, compliance says we need to make sure that we tell you that the uh, client should consult their tax advisors about the tax implications of their purchase. <clears throat> well, I can tell you that the single premium life contracts are either their whole life, they are... Um, index life or their universal life plans. They still have that guaranteed death benefit and the guaranteed premium. And generally speaking, what you're going to see is that long-term care benefit that's going to be paid to them is coming to them in the form of a death benefit. So generally speaking, they're not going to be taxable. When discussing loans and withdrawals with your client, because there are products out there that do have their free withdrawals, we have some that will do 5% a year, some will do a 10%, and then they'll accumulate to 20 or 30%, depending on how long they hold the contract. But the early cash values, um, obviously, we're going we're gonna to get to the MAC part of it here in a second. Early cash values will be less than the premium paid unless you have a full return of premium benefit. We do have contracts that will give your client 100% of their premium back if they want to get out of it, 
and over time they can actually get 100% plus interest on it. So that's really nice for those clients that are a little bit concerned about taking the money out of a CD or checking your savings account or maybe even annuity and losing that liquidity feature. They do have that full return of premium. Not all of them, but some of them do. Okay, so let's go back to that, the modified endowment part of it. We're talking about taxation and penalization or penalties. Um, if your client puts money into a single premium life policy, more times than not, they will become a modified endowment contract. So basically what that means, policy loans, withdrawals, those types of um, uh, cash outs of the policy would be taxable to the client in excess of their cost basis. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, the only other way to avoid that would be to take a 1035 exchange from an existing policy. Uh, that's not a MEC. As I mentioned before, the consolidation of policies. Let's say you've got those clients that have a bunch of those whole life policies. They want to stop paying premiums. They want to get a larger death benefit. They want to get the living benefits. If you 1035 those into one of these contracts, then it does not become a MEC. So keep that in mind. When annuities are used to pay premiums, agent must inform the clients that taxes will be incurred on any gain at ordinary income tax rates. So whether we're looking at a qualified or non-qualified, again, we do have the plans that will handle qualified accounts. And just real quick how those work is, we've got a SPIA whole life combo product where once you roll that, that qualified account into it, your client's not going to pay taxes on it immediately uh, if they're rolling it in. What happens is every year, now the first year there's going to be money coming out, obviously, because we need to fund the premium for the first year. But what they'll do is they'll put it into a SPIA contract. And over a 10-year period, the client will take, uh, or they'll actually have to report 1099 income from that qualified account. But this is the nice part about it. Let's say you've got a client with $100,000. They roll it into the SPIA contract. They will not receive a check each year, nor will they write a premium each year. What will happen is the company will do it internally. They'll handle the transfer from the SPIA to the whole life plan, but the client will receive a 1099 each year for the taxable portion of that qualified account. Okay, So keep that in mind. It's very simple. We are seeing more and more on that. In fact, I'm going to show you this illustrator here in just one second, what I'm talking about. There is a 10% penalty tax if your client is under age 59 and a half and they do that transfer. So I would encourage you two things. If you have a client that wants to roll money into a 1035 exchange and they're not quite 59 and a half, what I would do is see if they can come up with some funds that will satisfy that first year premium because we do have um, products out there that will do up to a 10 pay. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay, here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to jump over here to this calculator really fast. This is something we just came out with and this is a neat little tool that can be made available to you if you contract with one of our carriers, which is Baltimore Life in this scenario. This is kind of a neat little deal. If you've got a client, let's say for example, let's use 70 years old in this scenario. Okay, so let's say you have a client who has $100,000 sitting in a qualified account. And they decide uh, at 70 years old when you're meeting them that they really don't need that $100,000. Or maybe they aren't really quite sure. They're thinking maybe they want to hang on to it. So here we've got a 70-year-old male. <clears throat> and they are non-tobacco user, they're in a 15% tax bracket now. And let's say that they've got a child beneficiary that they know is going to inherit that $100,000 qualified account, and they're in their 25, they're in the 25% tax bracket. And you can see over here on the side, I kind of got this hidden a little bit. These are the different tax brackets. This is based on the 2013 tax tables. Now, more than likely not, your client's children are probably in their peak earning years, probably above the 15% rate. Well, let's say in this scenario they're at the 25% rate, okay? So let's look and let's just say, for example, that 10 years later, we're going to put 10 years in here. We'll leave it at 10. So 10 years later when your client is now 80 years old, because remember, we're using 70, they're now 80 years old, and let's say they're earning 3% on that annuity that they have today. If you look at that, leaving that $100,000 in that qualified account versus putting $100,000 into the Generation Legacy product, you can see the death benefit over here. What the, the beneficiary would receive if that client dies and they're 80 years old. This is a tax-free death benefit. If you look over here, this is the value of the annuity in 10 years based on 3%. So at 80 years old, that beneficiary inherits 134000 
they will have to pay $33,598 in taxes based on a 25% tax bracket, thus leaving them a net of $100,794. The difference between this number and the difference between this number is $38,456. So if your client were to put $100,000 in the Generation Legacy product, they would be giving their beneficiary an additional $38,456. Okay? So this is a neat little tool that would be available to you. Again, we can change this. Let's say that your client's in a 33% tax bracket. Now you'll see that that number goes up substantially. So and a lot of times I'm talking with agents such as yourself that are going to tell me that they've got children that are very well to do and they really don't need the money. But your client still has 100000 sitting in a qualified account. If they're not going to use it, roll it in the Generation Legacy product and reduce that taxable benefit to that, grant, to that child and give them a bump in value. So neat little tool that is available to you. Um, when we're done with this webinar, we can talk about that. We'll get you contracted and make that available to you in your presentation process. I also have a presentation book that I can get to you as well uh, that will help you make this presentation for Single Premium Life. Okay, so pretty simple kind of going into the marketing materials now. Hopefully you've get, gotten some good ideas as far as who's a prospect out there for you. Obviously what you want to do is you want to go back and talk to those clients or those prospects moving forward. Plant the seed of what you can do with a single premium life. We've got the different products out there. I know I'm kind of leaving you out there a little bit as far as the different plans. Uh, I'm going to have a webinar here, I believe it's next Friday, that will talk about the different products that we have available. Monday we're going to talk more about that, that piece that I just showed you, a little bit more detail. It'll be a short webinar, but if you want to join me at 10 a.m. on Friday, we'll go into that in greater detail. Okay, so what do we have available for marketing materials? We've got some different news advertise, uh, newspaper advertisements that you can put out there. These obviously are the black and white pieces you can see here. Uh, the nice thing is, is you're just leaving a little bit out there. Uh, the clients are going to call you. You put this in the newspaper, you put your name and your phone number down there. Increase visibility by putting that out there. Maybe you want to you um, add more to this. You, could, you certainly could do that if you want to enlarge this. This is a piece that we can make available to you for the black and whites. Um, you can also brand your practice by putting your logo out there, whatever. So we can improve these a little bit, tailor these a little bit, however you want that done. We do have some trifold, uh, trifold pieces that are available. They're not overwhelming. They're nice little pieces here. This one you can see. You can actually customize this, customize this by putting a little uh, biography about yourself, uh, telling them about who you are, your business. You can put a picture on there. So this is customizable as well. Uh, this is a neat little piece that if you wanted to uh, send out to prospects, maybe you've got a mailing list that you're working on, uh, maybe you want to mail out to your existing clients, you can do that as well. Uh, there's this piece here, why the IRS loves annuities. If you've got those clients out there that have qualified accounts, you might stick that into a mailer with them. And if you think they're kind of on the fence, maybe they're clients that have not touched that IRA yet, maybe they're retired for five years, it's just sitting there. This could be a good lead-in as to why you want to start talking about taking some of those qualified funds and rolling them into the product I just showed you here using that calculator. Okay, let's, let's uh, get into some sales ideas again here real quick, and uh, we'll start wrapping this up for you. <clears throat> okay, so based on all the different little who's the prospect, hopefully you've gained some ideas here, what you would want to do, obviously, uh, at the end of this webinar and I would encourage you obviously to put something into practice but let's look at first of all qualified accounts any of your clients out there you know that have the qualified accounts we can and and the other thing too is we, we will take 403 B's so if you've got client teachers out there that have 403 B's and they would be a good prospect for this we can handle that as well what we can do obviously is we 1035 that into that SPIA whole life combo product. Maybe they have non-qualified accounts. That will work as well. They can just uh, surrender that annuity and make a straight deposit into one of these single premium plans. Another thing to think about, maybe you have clients that have 10% free withdrawals that they have not utilized or exercised. Maybe they've got a large chunk of money out there sitting in annuity. Maybe they've got a ten dollars or $20,000 free withdrawal they can take out. You could do that one time. Um, just take that 20000 or that 10000 stick it into a single premium life plan, provide some final expense benefits. In addition, maybe provide a little extra long-term care or home health care. Required minimum distributions are another thing. Maybe they've got a large chunk of RMDs. 
Maybe they've been putting them in the bank. I've seen this a lot of times. Those clients that are seven and a half years old, they're taking that RMD. All they're doing is sticking it in the bank. And what does that do? It just sits in a lazy pool of money. If they're doing that, you don't have to take it all, but talk to them about what they can do with that RMD. We do have plans, again, that'll take up to 10 years, or you could just do a one-time lump sum into it after they've accumulated a couple years of RMDs. Remember the underperforming policies. Instead of taking that asset that they have, that universal life policy that might be in trouble of lapsing, instead of sticking it into an annuity, which I see a lot of agents do, just take it and put it into a single premium life policy. Maintain the integrity of that tax-free asset that they created for themselves in the first place. The continuous pay policies. Again, I see a lot of senior clients out there now that they're retiring, and, and you know what? I really don't want to keep paying premiums on this policy. Can I do something with this contract? Can I reduce it? Can I just put it into something that doesn't require premiums anymore that's guaranteed? Absolutely, yes, we can. We 1035 the cash value in that policy into a single premium policy. Again, underperforming CDs, excess checking or savings accounts. You know, I'm sure that you're probably doing fact finders with your clients. If you're not, I've got forms that we can provide to you to find out where are some of those hidden dollars at. And you'd be surprised. I was just flabbergasted. I spent time as an investment banker for a while, and uh, in addition to when I was out in the field as an as a independent agent, but found out how many clients have such a large amount of money sitting in their checking or savings account because it's FDIC insured. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have $300,000 in a savings or checking account. That's another good place to go. Policy reviews. Something I didn't point out to you is I have a personal arrangement guide and I don't believe it's included in this webinar, but the personal arrangement guide is a great place for you to go to find out where those hidden dollars are. It has a list of all of the different places where your clients will have their funds. And speaking from experience, and I'm sure you can vouch for this, but so many of the times when you're looking at a husband and wife, senior client, the husband knows where all the money's at. The husband's done all the financial, or handled all the financial affairs. And so unfortunately, when he passes away, You've got a surviving spouse there. She doesn't know where everything is at. Hence, going back to the very first thing I talked about before, that the senior client that had $3 million in sitting in CDs that she wasn't aware of. So this is a great piece that will actually help put together where all the assets are at so that that widow, she knows where everything's at. And, um, you know, it makes it simple when her husband passes away. So anyhow, I don't want to spend a whole lot more time on that, but this particular form will help you uncover those hidden assets and uh, help you make some additional sales. We do have um, videos out on our website, our Single Premium Life website. If you have not been out there, I would certainly encourage you to go out to our website. It's www.imsinc.com. So www.imsinc.com. There's a tab out there, Single Premium Life. It has all of our different carriers. It has recorded uh, webinars. It also has different videos out there that can help you, whether you want to use it as a presentation for a prospect or a client, or also just some of these pieces out there will help educate you on some of the products. So a great place to go. How can we help? Call Life Marketing for any case that you're working on. I will tell you right now that a lot of you that are selling annuities, uh, if you haven't written life insurance, underwriting has come a long way. And I've really impressed a lot of annuity producers out there with what we can do for their clients for life insurance today. Um, heart attacks, uh, strokes, those kinds of things, cancer, uh, we've come a long ways. And it used to be if you got cancer, you were never going to get insurance. It used to be if you had a heart attack, you weren't going to get insurance or it was going to be so high priced you couldn't afford it. So now we have plans where you can actually get a stint, and two years later, we're going to get you some insurance. So don't walk away from those cases. Give us a call. We'll see what we can do for you. We run the quotes. We shop the best carriers. You're going to find that we might send you two or three single premium life quotes to let you kind of figure out what you want to provide to your client. We scrub those applications and forms when they come in. We provide you that proactive weekly status. Now, I'll tell you these cases, they get issued pretty darn fast. So it may be a week or less you actually get an approval. So that's the nice thing. Again, when it comes down to it, does it make more sense to put that money into an annuity, take the path of least resistance and get half the commission, or put it into something else where we're going to uh, you know, get an exorbitantly higher amount of value past tax-free to the beneficiaries with long-term care and home health care benefits? Our goal is to get your cases issued and paid as quickly as possible, and that we will do for you.
There has never been a better time to sell single premium life than there is today. With more and more baby boomers retiring and over $1.4 trillion in assets to be passed to the next generation, again, there's never been a better time to sell single premium life. If you have clients that have a pool of funds, whether they're sitting in a CD where it's lazy dollars, not keeping up with inflation, paying taxes on those dollars, or maybe they've got funds sitting somewhere, maybe an annuity, maybe in a money market account. They know they're not going to spend those assets in their lifetime. They are perfect candidates for single premium life. How about those clients that you have that have a qualified fund, maybe a 403B, assets that they have that are qualified, that they are not going to spend their lifetime. Maybe they're taking RMDs from those accounts right now and they're not living on those, rather they're putting them in the bank. Again, there's, there's super prospects for single premium life. Today with the high cost of long-term care, these single premium plans do provide for living benefits for your clients. Again, they're super prospects for single premium life. If we can help in any way, please call us today at 800-255-5055. Ask for anyone in the life marketing department.